As Western artillery systems made huge strides during the 1970s the Soviets immediately launched a new program under a state-run design bureau to reinvent the toad howitzers that were a mainstay for the Red Army for the past 30 years. From 1976 until 1985 a fresh design was tweaked until it matched the impressive contenders from the West like the GC-45 and the M198. The result was the two A65ms to be that marked the evolutionary high watermark of 152mm toad howitzers. As a generational improvement over the antiquated D20 and ML20 howitzers favored by Eastern Bloc armies, them to be emphasized ease of transport and range. For reasons that have yet to be determined, it was mass produced together with another cutting edge toad howitzer, the Giantsint B. The simultaneous use of either suggests the two A65 enjoyed better compatibility with its predecessors than the Giantsint. On paper, it was as good as existing toad howitzers in NATO armies in the final stretch of the Cold War. The two A65 entered service in 1986. The following year it was designated by Western analysts as the M1987. The MSTB is recognizable for its elongated 54 caliber barrel capped by a monoblock three-chamber muzzle brake. The barrel assembly sits underneath two prominent recoil dampers and is fed via an elaborate breech block. It retains a Soviet vintage splinter shield with viewing ports for the optical sights used by the crew, who number eight in total. Since it follows a conventional howitzer layout, the MSTBS operation isn't too complicated and its designers added as many features that improved its handling. Each of its trails are equipped with large spades to better secure the gun before firing. Two pivoting trailing wheels are located near the spades for added mobility. To further stabilize the gun, a large screw jack is located beneath the barrel assembly's carriage. When in transit, the MSTB is hitched to a 6x6 truck or tracked vehicle like the MTLB. The width of its wheelbase and overall dimensions allows it to be hauled on paved roads at speeds reaching 80 km per hour off-road, a cautious 20 km per hour is applicable. The MSTB can fire the same rounds as the older D20 and the self-propelled 2S3 Akatsiya. It was also designed for delivering all types of suppressive fire, be it cluster munitions or low-yield nuclear warheads. A laser-guided munition, the Krasnopol, was introduced for targeting armored vehicles, buildings, bunkers, fortifications, and warships. Accurate production numbers for them to be are unknown and it wasn't exported outside the Soviet Union. An optimistic guesstimate would be less than 2,000 units produced until the 1990s. After the Cold War, however, significant quantities were left behind in newly independent Armenia, Belarus, Georgia, Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, and Ukraine. The Russian Federation kept several hundred MS to BS, but aside from an attempt to export an upgraded variant chambered for 155mm NATO ammunition, production of this toad howitzer has ceased in favor of self-propelled guns like the 2S-19 MS to S. It's an understandable rationale given the staggering quantities of howitzers, mortars, and rocket launchers the Russian army is stuck with to this day. Whether the to be was used in an active conflict during the 1990s is hard to tell, but in a painful twist, them to be enjoyed a resurgence during the 2010s. The conflict in Ukraine against pro-Russian separatists saw the widespread use of them to be by the belligerents from 2014 onward. In 2015 batteries of to be s were delivered to pro-government militias in Syria. Them to be proved itself in multiple engagements as a reliable heavy artillery piece superior to the older M46 130mm guns favored by the Assadists.